Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Rami. And if you guys are new here, I am a OB-GYN slash labor and delivery nurse. I've updated my about me because I have lots of different specialties um, that are all in my OB-GYN unit. So take a look at that. I am also a first year medical student that will be starting in July. So I can't wait to take you guys along. So this video is gonna be all about how I majored in nursing and got into medical school. So I know a lot of you guys are interested in that and lots of you guys have asked me questions about how becoming a doctor was even possible, how getting into medical school was possible with a nursing degree. In here, I'll be answering all of your questions. So if you're interested, stay tuned. <laughs> So the first thing I want to let you guys know is that you can go to medical school with any degree, whether that is nursing, business, biology, of course, those are the normal sciences, biology, chemistry, biochemistry. Um, you can even do engineering, psychology, education. You can major in anything and go to medical school as long as you have the medical school prerequisites. So I'm just gonna be naming them, but I will actually put it down in my description of the exact requirements you guys will need. So what I had to take along with my nursing curriculum was biology one and two, chemistry one and two, that's general chemistry one and two, organic chemistry one and two, physics one and two, and one semester of biochemistry. All the other classes, the bio, chem, gen chem, physics classes required laboratory, a lab um, credit with both semesters, whereas biochemistry did not. And I will definitely put that in my description. I know it can get very confusing, so I'll put it down in my description for you guys. If you guys Google, do a quick Google search about medical school prerequisites. Um, it does say a math requirement, which is like stats or calculus. Stats was included in my nursing curriculum, so I had already taken stats. Um, that was included which was great also a English class an English requirement but that's also included in nursing so those things I didn't have to worry about I had to take it either way the other classes the pre-med prerequisites I just talked about had to be taken along with my nursing curriculum so what you can do um, if you guys are in nursing school, you can start taking those classes right now. So what I did is I took all those classes, the pre-med prerequisites. I'm just gonna call them prereq because I can't even say prerequisites. <laughs> those pre-med prereqs I talked about, I took it along my nursing curriculum in the four years I did nursing school. So you guys know I have my bachelor's. I just went to a university and got into nursing school there. So when I had graduated in May, I had everything done. My nursing degree as well as my pre-med prereqs. Oh my gosh, I can't even say that either. My pre-med prereqs, woo. So um, what you guys can do is finish your nursing degree first and take these prereqs after nursing school. It might take you about a year and a half to two years to finish all of those requirements because you can't take bio two without taking bio one first, chem two without taking chem one first, and you can't take o chem without taking gen chem. So there are a few things you have to um, do in order. So I think it takes about two years to finish all the prereqs, but it will be faster if you take these classes in the summer. Or you can take them alongside your nursing curriculum like I did. It was a lot of work. It was super tough. My plan and my goal was to do medical school right after nursing school without even working as a nurse. I wanted to graduate in May and start med school in August. Um, but when I had applied the semester before, because it takes like a whole year to apply and get accepted into med school, I got rejected. And this happened year after year after year. Check out my video if you haven't already. I was rejected for four years and I finally got my acceptance four years later. So I've been a nurse for four years. It was awesome that I had my nursing degree. So I was able to gain those clinical hours. I had about 7,000 at this point, about 7,000 clinical hours working as an RN, which is a lot of hours. So if you guys know, if you guys are in college or about to enter college, to be considered a full-time student, you have to have 12 to 17 credits. So whenever I had available credits, for example, if I was taking 13 credits that semester, I would always jam pack my credits all the way to 17. So I always did 16 or 17 credits per semester. So if I was taking nursing classes and equated to 13 credits, I would take that bio class or that chem class um, to make it 17 credits because those those classes are worth four credits because of the lab. And then every semester, ever since I started nursing school, my freshman year, um, that summer was packed with more classes for med school. So I never had a free summer, you guys. 
and I took full credit courses during the summer as well. I was taking like 12, 15 credits in like a six week period. It was crazy. But now that I think of it, like I don't know how I did all that work. It was a lot. I did three summers worth of pre-med prereqs. I did a a while back, I did a video of all the classes I took, but I purposely omitted my med school prereqs because I didn't want anyone knowing I was trying to get into med school. I didn't really tell anyone at all besides my close friends and family that I was trying to get into med school because, you know, year after year, it just gets discouraging if you keep getting rejected. You don't want, um, you know, people that you just met knowing that you're trying to get into med school um, because you may get another rejection. So I did not include those classes in my transcript I, sh I read you guys my transcript of all my nursing courses that i took i think i might have accidentally said like a bio class or two which wasn't required in nursing school i may have to do an updated video on that with all my classes including the classes i took during the summer and all my pre-med prereqs for you guys um so that may be a future video so after i finished my nursing degree and my pre-med prereqs in four years this was 2017 of may of 2017 i finished all my prereqs I began working as a nurse in October. I did a residency, you guys know that. Um, you guys have been with me for a couple years now. I did an ob nurse residency where I began working as a nurse. One year into it, I retook my MCAT. I took it for the first time in the fall of 2016. So right before I graduated, I needed my stats in before I applied to medical school. So of course that didn't work out. I retook my MCAT. I believe it was the summer of 2018. Got rejected again. And at this point, this is where I really had to think to myself, do I wanna keep doing this? How do I improve my stats? How do I improve my application to get into medical school? Is this still my dream? It's always been my dream to get into medical school. And the answer to that every single time was yes. I thought to myself, well, I'm getting older every single year. I kept thinking I was too old to apply to medical school. And that was one of the questions you guys had actually asked me. Someone asked me if it was if they were too old to apply to medical school. They thought there was an age limit. There is no age limit. There are a few 30 year olds in my class and I've seen TikToks and other videos of people who are 40s in their 40s applying to medical school so it was never too late and what i had to keep thinking to myself was i can either be 30 and be a doctor or i can be 30 wishing i had reapplied to become a doctor i knew i would have that small piece of me regretting not reapplying and not reapplying to get into medical school because i had all my classes at that point all i needed was an acceptance i buckled down i retook the mcat a third time in 2020 two years later all while gaining clinical experiences as an rn became really close and did some mini shadowing at work with the doctors because we work right alongside doctors so it doesn't personally count as shadowing um but it's more like gaining relationships with the doctors that I worked with. So I'd actually asked one of the doctors that I worked with. She knows me at work. She knows how I work as a nurse. I had asked her for a letter of recommendation, which she had gave me. So um, if you are in nursing, if you're currently working as a nurse or um, in nursing school planning to go to medical school and you happen to not get in, getting these relationships are really important as a nurse going into medicine. Every single year since I graduated, I have applied to medical school and I finally got my acceptance in 2021. So I applied in 2020, fall of 2020. If you guys have seen my past couple of videos, you know that I applied in the fall of 2020 and I got accepted in March of 2021 to start in July. That is my whole journey of doing nursing school while trying to become a doctor. Yeah, I know that this can be really confusing and for me personally, it was also really confusing as I was in nursing school because my nursing advisor had no idea what I was doing. She was like, sure, take those classes. I don't know what exactly you're trying to do with this. Like, aren't you just trying to be a nurse? And what's the point of all of this? Um, she just let me kind of do what I want because I told her my plans and she still didn't really get it. I know you guys have told me a lot in the comments about how your nursing advisor is not very helpful. And I know the struggle, you guys. So I hope you guys have really good advisors to work alongside and can really help you and support you um, during this journey because I know it could be really hard. Yeah, 
Um, so if you guys have any questions at all, I know you guys may have a lot of questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram. I try to reply to every single message on there and I try to reply to all of the comments that I get. Um, but yeah, I will be making a whole series of my journey and I can't wait to bring you guys along to watch my vlogs as a medical student. And sadly, I've already splurged on some scrubs. These are some fig scrubs and I splurge on a bunch of different outfits that I'm going to be wearing as a medical student. So I hope you guys subscribe to me to stay tuned for my journey and to watch all my different hauls and everything. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to join the family. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey.